Hello there, YouTube. This is a video to introduce Kitty Wake Classics line of Wargame miniatures. Uh, in concert with Table Warfare, we are producing a line of Wargames miniatures. Um, thanks to Ollie for coordinating this whole um, whole um, project, and to Darren for sculpting, and to uh, Mike and the team who gave me their card um, for creating the production molds. Everything's come out brilliantly, and the samples I got given uh, are actually a lot better in quality than some miniatures that I have um, received, bought new. So, yeah, big props to them. Now, I warn you at the beginning of this video, um, some of these figures are nudes. Um, and yes, I can show them on YouTube because they're artwork. It does specifically say, under the terms of service, that artwork is a uh, reasonable use of nudity. And I don't see any reason why I should censor them. Um, so here we go. Yeah, perhaps I should have warned you also, my painting standards aren't exactly heavy metal standard. Um, yeah, Ms. Zen. Um, originally this was just going to be um, a straight, um, well, the inspiration picture was the Master Silver Wolf illustration of the um, witch in um, Courtesan's 20,000. However, um, because of the evolution of the design somewhat, and um, my um, fact I was working on um, Horseblade Heroics at the time, um, We've kind of developed it into actually one of the super uh, hero type characters in um, Horseblade Heroics. Yeah, the uh, model doesn't come with that big um, cloud. It is supposed to be a cloud underneath her. Um, it doesn't come with that. That was green stuff by me. What the model does come, it's it comes the met, the metal model comes. Um, as is, uh, it come, It has got room for a flying base if you want to do that, but personally I have real trouble with flying bases, so I decided instead to have it sitting on a cloud. And I think it came out alright, considering how bad I am at painting. And um, yeah, a lovely little miniature for maybe a psychic in um, various war games, armies, or some kind of mystic in your Dungeons & Dragons games. It's got a wide variety of uses. Ruth Talbot is a um, character from Wizkid the Cheapening, um, briefly mentioned in one of the fiction pieces, um, and she will, when I get around to writing it, be a leading part in the Wizkid play. Um, however, um, Shadow World stuff's getting taking a back seat at the moment, so I don't know how long that will be. Until then, you have this little depiction of her, which is very good for you. Any kind of sort of Harry Potter style uh, school kid um, wizardry game. I painted the um, wand pink um, because of the fact that it was a reference to the fact that Wiz Kid was originally um, aimed at adults, and it was. Um, kind of a more uh, um, dodgy um, satirical take on fan fiction um, but painted like a regular wand it will look like a regular wand and not like a giant dildo um, yeah um, miniatures are very good for uh, your typical spells urban spell slinger modern horror games as I said modern fantasy games and just a collector's item uh, for those of you who like the sort of a Harry Potter mythos. Um, and uh, yeah, my painting job isn't too bad on that one. You'll notice there was this little black box that was me covering up the fact I'm, that the model was chipped in transit to the photographer and not very well. <laughs> Seeing as my first full game was Chav the Knifing, there had to be a Chav in there somewhere, and I thought, 
Lulu, Lulu Stevens uh, from Jab the Play, um, based on some artwork by, I think it was Raven, uh, in the interior of Chab the Knifing, but um, with a few additional touches by the sculptor. Um, it, it came out very well in sculpting wise, painting wise, again I, I've covered a chip up here but um, now I fixed that chip. Um, it looks it looks pretty good and um, it's it's relatively easy to paint um, even if you're as crap as me um, and yeah I really I, I really like the uh, look of this brilliant for use in a urban uh, warfare game or um, some kind of modern day setting again a modern day setting which is a rarity these days in miniatures uh, with a couple of exceptions but it's still a rarity Nurse Judy. Um, Nurse Judy is a um, wellness officer from the uh, um, Courtesans and then later Horseblade 20,000 um, setting. Um, and yes, it's a nude. Um, it's a nude nurse, no less, with a gun. Um, it could be useful in a wide variety of modern or future setting games. If anyone out there ever uses this as a medic or a commissar in one of 40,000, I may just die of laughter. As it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty easy model to paint, obviously, it's a new, much variation in colour. Um, and, um, yeah, it does come in two parts, um, but the, the arms holding the gun are the second part. And they stick together perfectly. There's no issue there. There's no problem with things not measuring up. Not like some people. When it comes to civilian miniatures, the ones that are the most popular are sex workers. Obvious reasons, so uh, marketing to a bunch of perverts. <laughs> I say that in jest, seriously. Um, but um, yes, um, I decided that um, of the various ladies of um, a negotiable affection that I'd written for, I'd put sugar, well, with the one that gets the what well, sugar, and late also her friend Dolly uh, would uh, get the treatment of being made into a miniature. Sugar I particularly like because of the fact that they managed, um, Darren managed to capture the sort of sheer uh, sort of dumb look on her face as well as um, the rather um, silly pose which is great. Um, what could this be useful for? Damsel in Distress miniature, it could be um, if you're playing, uh, as it could be some kind of witch or psychic or something like that if you want to actually give her a useful role, but most of the time, dental and distress manager. Now, where would Sugar be if it wasn't for her um, long-suffering uh, Kenny pickpocket uh, wife even, um, Dolly Dock. Knowing the 18th century, probably dangling on the end of a rope. Um, yeah, Dolly um, was inspired by the Raven Morrison picture of her um, in Doxy, and um, I think it's come out very well. It's somewhat more uh, exaggerated in the chess department than um, I expected, but uh, um, I'll allow Darren some artistic license there. It is. It, it looks very good, and um, yeah, it's uh, it, it it's uh, it's a lovely uh, little costume to paint. Um, and if you're any better than me, you probably make it look a bit better. Um, 
and plus she's holding a teacup. Pickpocket who managed to steal a... Uh, oh, never mind. Um, anyhow, uh, what can this be useful for? Uh, if you need a rogue character, some kind of... Um, some kind of... Again, if you're using Witch or Psyker. Don't think she's quite a damsel in distress like Sugar is, uh, but you could use it for that. If you, I, I mainly use her for pirates, rogues, and just general um, skeeving, conniving types, because she, she looks a lot more with it than Sugar. Sister Sadie. Um, this figure is another nude. Um, this particular nude is uh, carrying a whip and has scars on her back. I wasn't very good at marking out the scars. Uh, they are fine detail. Um, but, um, yeah, it's it's a very, very good looking miniature. And uh, it could be very useful for religious fanatic soldiers as well as rather kinky concubines. Um, it's inspired by... Again, by a Horseblade 20,000 or Courtesans 20,000 artwork by Master Silverwolf. And yeah, uh, if you need a kinky whip lady, this is your girl. Another one inspired by a Master Silverwolf original picture. Um, Lenora Justine is a demagogue or preacher of the Empire of Woman Church. Um, if you need a singer, um, a preacher, demagogue, revolutionary leader, whatever, this is a, this is a good place to start. Um, the robes are um, particularly um, detailed and interesting, uh, painting-wise, and. Um, there are lots of tiny little details. Um, the microphone is a separate piece, but it glues to the, the natural base of the Finnick figure. Um, and it, it's very easy to fit. Um, you shouldn't really need to clean the hole up too much. It's quite okay as it is, but um, you may need to file it a little, but it should be fine as it is. Last among the uh, Horseblade 20,000 stuff in this collection is Ophelia Rex. Ophelia Rex is an administrator um, slash quizzer and she um, is basically a typical secretary only with a bionic arm um, which is I think very clear on the model um, and this bionic arm is um, uh, quite the uh, accessory, um, yeah. If you're uh, into I uh, think into uh, sort of anime, um, cyberpunk, all these sorts of um, genres that like bionics, uh, this should be. It should also be very good for their cert certain uh, uh, sort of gothically themed and heavy metal themed uh, sci-fi war games as well. Obviously there is a slight problem using her in a fantasy game because of the fact her dress is so modern and she's got a bionic arm, but I'm sure you could do a conversion into a steampunk version. I'd be very happy to see pictures if you do. And finally, Bolo Tick. An orc in a pink dress. I don't really need to say anything more, do I? So there you have it, the Kitty Quake Classics miniatures line. Um, I can't thank Table Warfare and their um, various uh, and all the, all the people involved enough for bringing these out and um, bringing to life some of my creations. I mean, it's great when an artist gives you a drawing, 
of something that was in your head uh, from your specifications and they give you a drawing of what was in your head but we're actually having a, a physical sculpture here about an inch tall of your creation is just and being able to sort of move those around on a tabletop is just fucking awesome it really is it's incredible and I can't thank uh, Table Warfare and the team enough. Thanks for watching.